Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about my most favorite concealers. Now all of these concealers are the ones that I have loved especially in the past year and I've used them so much. You've seen me using them in my videos and they are literally my holy grails. I've reached out to them uh, practically every single time I've done makeup. I have a ton of concealers and it was hard for me to come up with my top five concealers. Now out of the five concealers that I'm showing you, four are super super affordable and from the drugstore. I've picked up only one Hind concealer which I had and I totally love. Uh, but that is the one I use for occasions. However, the other four that I'm showing you are equally good so you can take your pick and without further ado, let's get started. The first concealer that I'm going to show you is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. No surprises there, this is such a beautiful concealer. It's a cult favorite and it's a, one of my favorite products from the drugstore. So this is my new packaging and I have a one which I'm almost running through. So I always keep a backup of this concealer because it is beautiful. I'm in the shade 25 Medium Moe. So this concealer has a beautiful texture to it. It blends in like butter. It comes in a doffer applicator like that. And the concealer itself is super beautiful. I'm just going to take a little bit at the back of my hand and blend it out for you and you're going to see that it blends in beautifully this concealer is so creamy and it sets under the eyes super well it works beautifully on uh, even if you have gross feet or if you have some lines under your eyes the only thing that you have to remember to do with this concealer is to set it with a powder it's super beautiful creamy and totally love it i think this is my fourth or the fifth tube and i'm going to continue to repurchase it it is one of my favorite concealers guys the next concealer is also from Maybelline. This is also a cult favorite. It's the beautiful Age Rewind Concealer. Again, a beautiful concealer from the drugstore. Blends in beautifully, does not set in the lines or crow's feet, and it does not move. That's the most important thing because a lot of concealers tend to, you know, go ahead and set in your lines as the day progresses. So that's one thing I always had a problem with a lot of concealers. But this one right here does not set into the lines. I'm in the shade Medium Moin, again 25. This comes in a sponge applicator like this, and you have to twist the bottom part of the tube to get some product i'm showing you this at the back of my hand and i'm going to blend out some of it such a beautiful concealer i love this concealer for highlighting especially under my eyes because it's such a beautiful highlighter and it kind of gives that very lifted look even on your forehead if you want to highlight this is such a perfect concealer to have and uh, not just for highlighting for covering your under eye dark circles this is so beautiful and definitely does not move again with this concealer i think that goes with most concealers that you have to set it in with a press powder or a compact or at least some kind of a powder my next concealer is from makeup revolution this is the conceal and define concealer i'm in the shade c10 beautiful concealer again sets beautifully under the eyes and blends in so perfectly guys there are lighter shades in this concealer as well so for me this shade is a tad bit too dark it does not do brightening for me but i just love this concealer this concealer has been compared so much with the tarte tape shape i haven't used that one and i do not so far feel the need to get that because this one right here is so beautiful again blends in beautifully and has a very soft finish to it with this concealer as well you definitely have to set it with a powder and it gives you a very kind of a lifted look does not cake at all because i feel it is moisturizing in itself that's a beautiful thing about this concealer so a lot of people ask me that why do you like concealers so much you know we don't like a concealer let me tell you if you don't like concealers the only thing that has happened with you is that you haven't found the right one because the day you do you're gonna love concealers as well they are perfect on some of the days when i don't feel like putting a lot of makeup i don't feel like putting foundation at all i just go in with this concealer and i just conceal under my eyes around my mouth a bit on my nose and i'm good to go because this one the color match is also quite similar to my foundation this is not a very brightening concealer but the concealer itself is so moussey in texture it is beautiful it's not liquidy at all if you see i'm going to pop the wand out this beautiful fat tofu applicator it is such a stunning applicator i mean not just your under eye i tend to conceal around my nose on my forehead and like I said, I really love this concealer when I don't want to go with foundation on a lot of days and just want to conceal and, you know, give that a uh, little lifted look on my face and just conceal my 
uh, some of the spots or acne scars or a bit of my dark circles this is such a handy concealer the next concealer and a very recent find is this one from wet n wild this is the wet n wild photo focus concealer again a beautiful concealer very popular on youtube uh, this is a new package like you can see and uh, the shade that i am in here is light medium beige beautiful concealer this is a concealer that i'm wearing today I totally love it. It is so beautiful. It brightens under my eyes. It does not settle. It does not cake. And all I did was just go ahead and settle with some of my Laura Mercier loose powder and you're good to go. That's how the concealer looks. It's such a compact tube. It's so beautiful to even travel with. Now it has a very similar doe foot applicator like the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Now this concealer from Wet n Wild is so so affordable guys. I picked it up on sale with other stuff from Wet n Wild and I think it costed me what 200 or 250 rupees and it's so worth the shot if you're on a budget and if you're looking for a good concealer hands down this is such a good drugstore concealer I'm going to show you this concealer at the back of my hand it is again super super blendable and that one right here it blends in beautifully without a lot of effort the one thing that I'm going to say about all these concealers that I've showed you from Maybelline uh, to the Age Rewind, to this one right here, and then even the Makeup Revolution. I think a way a concealer blends with a beauty sponge, it does not blend with a brush for sure. At least that's my experience. I also highly recommend that you take your damp sponge to uh, set in your concealer with a loose powder because that way your concealer is going to be flawless. It's definitely got, not going to set in your lines. It's not going to cake. I have tried setting my concealer a couple of other methods, but this one worked best for me. And uh, there are a couple of other colors and I've heard they are great for contouring. Also, if you go in for a darker color, you can definitely use any of these concealers that I've showed you for contouring. In fact, I forgot to mention, but the Makeup Revolution concealer comes in a ton of colors. You can use the darker shades to contour or your cheekbones, your nose. And, you know, if you want to use a little warmer shades for even bronzing. Now, I don't like liquid or cream contouring and bronzing, so I haven't gone for one. But the way this concealer works and the fact that it's so moussey, I'm pretty sure it's going to work wonders as a contour as well. The only high-end concealer that I have for you today and the one that I have loved from the high-end brands for a very long time is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Again, such a beautiful, such a high coverage concealer. I'm in the shade NC35 and this concealer guys, it's so beautiful, it's so high coverage, a little bit goes a long way. I've been using this concealer literally for a an year and you can see I've not even finished half of it, I've only gone through here. Also because I have a lot of other concealers to go through, but this is a beautiful concealer to invest in. If you have a wedding in the house, if it's your own wedding, if there's a good good coverage concealer that you're looking for i highly recommend that you go in for the mac pro longwear it does not budge it does not cake and it does not settle in your lines it does not move and it is so so long wearing like the name suggests it's a super concealer if you are looking for a high-end concealer i definitely think you should give this one a go now this concealer comes with a pump which is beautiful i love the fact that it comes in a pump i also like tofu applicators but i just feel that pumps are a lot more hygienic i'm going to take some of it at the back of my hand and I'm going to blend this out and show you. Now the one thing with this concealer that you have to remember is that this sets in super quickly. Now you saw that I just waited for practically a couple of seconds and it's already started setting in. So you have to be careful with this concealer. Again, I highly recommend using a sponge with this concealer because this blends in beautifully again with a sponge i've tried using this concealer with a concealer brush did not work for me i think in general because i don't have very dry under eyes and i keep them really well hydrated because i'm very cautious about my dark circles so i use a lot of creams and eye creams etc so in no way ever that my under eye area is not hydrated but i still feel that concealers blend in beautifully with a damp sponge so i highly recommend this one tip and definitely go ahead and set this concealer in with a loose powder again do it with a damp sponge so guys this is it for today those were my top favorite five concealers if you have any questions for me please do leave it in the comment section below also do let me know what are your favorite concealers from the drugstore or high end and if you'd like me to try any of those guys also do follow me on my instagram handle i will leave the handle somewhere down below or on the screen somewhere i do a lot of product reviews i post videos 
videos there. I also announced my giveaway winners on my Instagram handle. So would highly urge all of you to follow me on my Instagram page as well. And don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell and like this video. Until I see you next, bye-bye.